again. My name is Rachel. I'm one of the children's librarians at the Broomfield Library. We're really happy that you're tuning into our online story times. Today's online story time is going to be about eggs, and we're actually going to learn a little bit about eggs today because the story that we're going to do is a nonfiction book, and nonfiction means that it's real information. It's not made up. So here we go. This is called An Egg is Quiet, written by Diana Hutz Aston illustrated by Sylvia Long, and this is copyright 2006 by Chronicle Books, and Chronicle Books has given us permission to read this today. Here we go. An egg is quiet. An egg is quiet. It sits there under its mother's feathers or on top of its father's feet or buried beneath the sand, warm and cozy. An egg is colorful. Look at all those fun colors. These are all natural colors of eggs. An egg is shapely. There are round eggs, like this one from a sea turtle. There are oval eggs, like this one from a ladybug. There are pointy eggs, like this one from a seabird. And there are even tubular eggs, like this one. This is from the lesser spotted dogfish, which is a kind of shark. An egg is clever. The markings on some eggs help them blend in with their surroundings. This is called camouflage. Camouflage is an egg's way of hiding. Eggs come in different sizes. An ostrich egg can weigh as much as eight pounds. And it is so big and so round, it takes two hands to hold one egg. But hummingbird eggs are the size of a jelly bean. It would take about 2,000 hummingbird eggs to equal the size of one ostrich egg. And I'm going to pause our story for just a moment because I happen to have an ostrich egg right here so you can kind of see how big this is. And then I don't have a hummingbird egg, but I do have a jelly bean, which is about the same size. And so you can see comparatively how big the ostrich egg is with a little tiny hummingbird egg. Okay, we'll start our story back. An egg is artistic. An egg is textured. There are hard eggs. Most bird eggs are hard, like that one. There are soft eggs, like reptile eggs that are often soft and rubbery. There are gooey eggs. Amphibian eggs are gooey. The goo helps them keep from drying out. So those are frog eggs right there. There are smooth eggs, and most bird eggs are smooth. But there are also rough eggs, like the eggs of cassowaries, emus, and cormorants are very rough. An egg might even be fossilized. The remains of creatures that died millions of years ago became rock hard or fossilized. Scientists have unearthed fossilized dinosaur eggs all around the world. Some are round and some are oblong. Some are as small as one inch, but others are as large as 20 inches. Science, scientists believe that all dinosaurs hatched from eggs. An egg is giving. The egg gives the little creature growing inside it everything it needs. The shell is its home. The yolk is its food and the white egg part, or the albumen, is its pillow. Then the shell is covered with tiny, tiny holes, which allow air to enter. An egg is quiet, but then suddenly, an egg is noisy! Cheep, 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 cheep! And look at all those fun different animals that hatch from eggs. Good job. So 
in the library when we're doing our story times, we like to take breaks and use lots of fun props to do um, our breaks and in, with the music and stuff in our story times. Um, and one of our favorite props is to is the shaker eggs. Because just like you guys, librarians are home, we don't have shaker eggs, but this is a perfect opportunity for me to show you how you can make your own shaker egg. So all this is, is it is a, just a plastic egg and you can use really anything you can find that's little and hard. So like I'm using just a hand, a little pinch of um, dried beans, but you could use uncooked rice. You could even use small Lego pieces. It could even be a fun experiment for you guys to, to fill different things inside and see what it sounds like, how the different sounds work. So you can close it up. I recommend you try to glue it or seal it somehow. So like on this one, I added some washi tape, which is just a decorative craft tape, but you can tape it down or glue it down just to keep those things inside. You can add some stickers if you want to decorate it too and make it a lot of fun. And then you have the musical shaker eggs. We do recommend, recommend that you supervise your children when they're playing with these because these are potentially choking hazards inside of there. And if it opens up, it could be a, a mess if nothing else. So there's lots of great things that you can do with shaker eggs. They're just really fun. You can use them for with any song and just kind of shake them to the beat. Um, you can also um, look up a couple of my favorite songs, which are um, I Know a Chicken by Lori Berkner. And I also like I Can Shake My Shaker Egg by Mr. Eric and Mr. Michael. So those are two fun songs that you can use that are specifically for a shaker eggs, but you can just have fun with the shaker eggs with in, in any way you want to at home. The other thing I wanted to point out is that we also had eggs incubating in the children's library. And when the library closed, they went home with Miss Sarah, who is from CSU Extension, and she actually videoed, taped them um, hatching. And so that is actually posted. If you go to the Broomfield channel on YouTube, you can find all of these story time videos, as well as the videos of the eggs hatching from the children's library, which is really fun. Thanks again so much for tuning into story time today. We hope we'll see you guys again soon.